What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Show and Tell. Meow's it going? Meow's it going? <laughs> Best pickup ever. So we went to Port Kennedy. Port Kennedy. Damn, did I fill some bags? I filled some bags. Let's jump straight into it. Let's see what we got for show and tell. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do this. Show and tell, baby. Meow. So we're gonna start off with the DVDs. Um, I got this one for a dollar, this Family Guy, Stewie Griffin, Untold Story. And Family Guy Season 9, which was the last one I needed. That was four bucks though, so, but Season 9 just happened to be the last one I needed to lot up. So let me grab all these other Family Guys that are down here. The Blue Harvest, Season 10. Now we can put nine there, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then the Stewie Griffin untold story. I'm not gonna put these in the kit today, but I fucking did it. I told you I would do it. I told you about a month and a half ago that I was collecting up and finding, and I just write a little list on my phone of what ones I needed, uh, like the two and a half men, I know which two seasons I need to finish it up. Uh, there's some other ones that I've got there. I know what seasons I need to finish up. When you're paying two bucks a pop, and I paid four bucks for the season nine, but I needed season nine to complete it, so I was paying whatever for that. So I don't know how much I'll get for all this stuff. Maybe 80 bucks, but I'm into this probably, I'm into this about $25. Actually, no, somewhere a dollar as well. So about 20 bucks I'm into this for all of the uh, 10 seasons plus two extra movies and I should get 80 bucks for it. And that was just, uh, each time we go thrifting, we collect them up, and that's what you do. I'm not gonna put that in the kitty because I haven't worked out exactly uh, how much I'm gonna get, so I'll work that out later. So you're not going in the kitty, but definitely do that. I've told I've told you guys once, I'll, I'll fucking, don't make me tell you again, but a lot of them up. Buy them, TV series. I've got a whole heap of Simpsons ones, I've got Two and a Half Men, all that type of shit. Kitty doesn't lie. Kitty, kitty don't lie. So I made some mistakes uh, this time. We all make mistakes. Don't say you don't make mistakes. We all make mistakes. And you learn from your mistakes. Now I chucked some stuff in my basket and then when I got to the counter, I totally forgot to, uh, to look them up and I didn't want to look like a dickhead when I was at the counter, so I just brought them anyway, so it's not a big deal. So I got this Appleseed uh, DVD. This was two bucks. I only get ten dollars for this, plus they'll pay for their postage. So I'm only gonna make eight bucks. Not a big deal. Uh, Army of Darkness, um, Evil Dead Three. Uh, I'll get ten bucks for that. So and that cost me a dollar. And then from a different store, I got uh, and I wish I looked this up. This Power Rangers one uh, cost me a dollar. Unfortunately, I only get eight bucks back from that. So I'm gonna make seven bucks on that. But you know what? You gotta have some cheap stuff in your store anyway. I thought this would have, been, would have been an awesome pickup because Aladdin's only just came out and it looks in pretty good condition except for those teeth mark around the fucking uh, cover there but I've got some other covers I can replace it with. Um, so Aladdin was a dollar. I love this movie. I thought this was great. So we saw it at the cinemas and I've already watched it on the Disney Channel. Fucking judge me. I don't fucking care, but I like it. I only get 10 bucks for this. Use 10 bucks, so I'll make $9 out of it. So that's all right. 10 bucks in the kitty. Kitty's happy with that. Okay, next up, what do we got? Who's come on down? Picked up this uh, vintage 1996 Fremantle Dockers yearbook. Uh, really cool. This was their second season, the Fremantle Dockers' second season. Uh, this was 25 cents. 25 cents. And uh, someone will buy this for 15 to 20 dollars. Um, and the postage won't cost fuck all, and they can pay for that themselves. But uh, 15 to 20 bucks, I'm gonna put 20 bucks in the kitty for that one. Um, pretty cool vintage um, yearbook. 
the Dockers. I think we won three games that year. Now I got this bag of Woolworths. Woolworths fucking uh, Marvel discs. Now I looked up, this was $3. I looked up comps, and comp says that people have been selling bundles of like 50 of them for $30. Or 60, 60 or 70 of them for $30. And that sold listings. There was 228, I think it was, that I counted. I don't fucking remember now. It was about 228 of these. So I reckon I either split them up and sell them in two lots of $30, plus they pay for their postage, or I could just, uh, fuck. Or I could just uh, sell them for 60 bucks. But they might go for more than $60. I don't know. People were fucking loving it. And the Incredible Hulk ones, um, people are selling on there for $5 singly, and I've got heaps of Incredible Hulk ones in there, so someone might see that when I take the photos and absolutely froth their froth. I got two West Coast Eagles things. We'll go through the West Coast Eagles things very uh, fast because I feel dirty touching these. First of all, this scarf was a dollar. This is a vintage 1995 West Coast Eagles scarf. Uh, one of their fans will like it. This is the old emblem when they went and started to go a bit darker in the 95 season. Official AFL. Um, this one will go for about $40 plus postage. One of their fans will buy that 100%. And then this 1990 uh, West Coast Eagle plush, number 60 on the back there. Uh, West Coast Eagle plush, very rare. Some have sold for 80, uh, some have sold for 70. Um, I'm gonna put mine up for 60, I'm gonna undercut everyone else. And this is on the sold listings uh, that some have sold there. So we'll uh, chuck that Eagle up there for 60 bucks and one of those fuckers can buy that. Second bag, and we got clothes, we got clothes. I took a risk on this because everything uh, was um, $2 that had a red tag. Fuck, it's hot in here today. Everything was uh, $2 that had a uh, red tag. Found this, it's like this sporting jacket thing. Dinity stitches. Um, Malaysia. And so it's like a Malaysia soccer uh, jacket. It was only two bucks, it was worth the risk. Line 7 is the brand, I've got to do a little bit more um, uh, research, size medium, and it's made in France, I guess. Um, but I'm thinking 20 bucks, I paid $2, who cares. Um, I'll put it up to like 30, 40, and then put offers on, and then if people want to give me an offer of, uh, of 20 bucks, they can fucking have it for 20 bucks, it cost me $2. All right, I'm gonna get through this fast, because it's hot in here today, it's really hot in here. Emu Bitter, has anyone heard of Emu Bitter before? Emu Bitter Beer. Emu Bitter, it's not a bad beer, it's not the greatest, but it's alright. Anyway, none on comp sold, none for sale of this jumper. Um, I should get about 30 bucks for this uh, beer jumper because people do love them. It is a large, so uh, that one cost me 5 bucks. And if it doesn't sell, I've got a mate that uh, loves EB and drinks it all the time. Um, doesn't sell within a couple of months, he can have it. Ooh, that's coming off, too hot, too hot. All right, I got this large Star Wars Darth Vader shirt. I'm gonna do a little bit more research on this one. Um, this one is nice. Uh, just from looking at comps with um, Darth Vader stuff that sells, we're looking at about for t-shirts, $25. Um, it did cost me five bucks. I like it. I, I like it. It's, it's a nice shirt, but I think with that logo there, it's more of a recent one because that's more of the uh, Rebels, uh, Rebels, Rebels logo. It's more of the logo from the Last Jedi. But in saying that, that's a nice shirt. That's a nice Darth Vader shirt. Let the Force be with you, or come to the dark side. Do what the fuck you want, but give me 25 bucks and you can have it. I found this Disturbed T-shirt. Um, this was five bucks. This will be an easy $25 piece of piss. If you think that I should sell it for more than $25, hit me up, let me know. Um, but that, that, that's a, that should go for about 25 bucks. That's a size medium though, that's why I'm thinking uh, just 25 bucks and not raising the price on that one. But if you think it will go more, let me know in the comments and I'll fucking make sure I put it for more. This was a hard one to find on comps, which I couldn't really find. Uh, this was a $4 Manchester United jersey, I guess. Um, nice uh, logo on there. There, I like the Red Devils logo. And the sponsor on the front, and it is a Rooney, a Rooney jersey 
Um, this one was four bucks, a size medium. Um, <coughs> no, I think it's large actually, not medium. Uh, so that's size large, and looks like I only get about 30 bucks for that. Um, if I'm wrong, once again, let me know. If you think I should sell it for more, I will sell it for more if you tell me. But the kitty says, the kitty says, just do it for that much. Now I always say, go through the kitty section, not to look for kids' clothes, but just to see if there is any uh, football stuff in there. And, speaking of football stuff, I found a size 6 children's Sydney Swan um, jersey, and... This was two bucks. This was two bucks for a kid's jersey. And I'll turn this two bucks into $20 into the kitty, easy. Might be undercutting myself, but let's just do a quick flip. Kid's jersey, they're gonna pay for their own postage. 20 bucks from $2. I already got my bingo for my jersey. So, that would have been another one. This was a dollar, and I was selling this for a dollar. This is a 19, uh, 19, uh, 2005 Dockers, Fremantle Dockers um, jersey, beautiful jersey. I did put this through the wash yesterday, and that fucking stain won't come out. But it doesn't matter anyway, because the green is really faded. That green should be a lot better than the green that it is. So, this was a dollar because they actually even said, oh, this is very faded. So, they gave this to me for a dollar, and it's size medium. I should still get about $40 to $50 for it. I'm thinking $40 for it. Beautiful jersey. I love the uh, original Dockers jersey. It's my favorite jersey. Um, so, I should get $40 to $50 bucks for it. So, I'm going to put $50 in the kitty because... Um, I had a look on comps and a couple like this have sold for 50 bucks at medium as well. So, not signed, not player issue, but they're official AFL jerseys. People are looking for those. 50 bucks. Alright, I got an extra, extra large RM Williams uh, polo shirt, business shirt, whatever you would like to call it. Pretty good condition. This was $9 though. Did I overpay? I think I overpaid. Um, $9 for this shirt, it's pretty big. Um, on comps, it looks like I'll get about $30 to $35 for it. Uh, not 100% sure on that one, but it's my first RM Williams shirt. And uh, yeah, $9, I think I over overpaid, overpaid. But shit happens, it's better than a kick in the dick. Okay, last thing from this bag, and then we got one more bag. I really like this. This spun me up. Uh, Craig from Game On Couple likes his skiing stuff, so he might be able to help me out on this. I'll show you the brand. Spider. Spider. It's a skiing brand. Now, I can't figure out if this jacket is male or female. I'm thinking it's females. I'm thinking it's females. Kelly's already tried to steal it. And she's not having it when I saw what the spider brand is worth. This spider jacket, and it's like a ski jacket, skiing jacket, it's worth over, they sell for, they sell from $100 to $200. Um, so I'm just going to put 100 bucks in the kitty, because I think it will sell for over 100 bucks as well, this jacket. Uh, this one only cost me $9, and I thought $9 was definitely worth it. Um, so spider, let me know if you know anything about spider. But uh, I looked up their store and everything, and um, I've got good feeling, I've got good vibes. Um, I'm positive about this one. So once again, I've told you to go through the bed sheets because I've just found a 1996 Goosebumps, Goosebumps bed sheet. I'm not gonna unfold it all the way out. You would've saw it when I picked it up. Um, this is the second time I've found one of these. Man, I'll tell you what. These go for 60 bucks. $3 this cost me. $3. And just remember, I did say on one of my videos, I can't remember when I sent it to you, but uh, with bed sheets, if you uh, know how to sew and all that, get yourself up a little idea that I've given you and um, sew up some fucking kids' curtains with uh, bed sheets that don't sell um, of their favorite characters, and you might make some money on Facebook Marketplace out of uh, home making curtains. You never know. Give it a try. My business idea that I can't use. 
Then I found in the bed sheets another Star Wars. Another Star Wars one. So another Star Wars one, same one as I got the other week. Not as good as con uh, condition, but there's three Star Wars. There's three Star Wars uh, bed sheets I've got there. So the Goosebumps one will go for about 60 bucks in the kitty. This one, just like the other one, that's not listed, uh, should be 40 bucks. Actually, hopefully by this comes out, I should have it listed. Both of them listed. And the last bed sheet came with a pillowcase. Might as well just show you the pillowcase, might be a bit easier. Bang, back, back you gun. Back again, back again, back again. Battle Brawlers. So this was $4, so the Goosebumps was three bucks, Star Wars was four, and this is this was $4. Um, this is a 2008 uh, Duna. Once again, like I said, you can turn these into, do a different business style on the side, turn them into fucking kids blinds or whatever. But anyway, this is uh, back again. This is a really, really, really nice uh, Duna cover, this one. Um, I think this one will sell pretty fast. It's a really good condition, 2008. Um, only get me about 40 bucks, but hey, we paid four dollars, so 40 bucks. Happy with that. Start looking at getting them. Don't walk past them. I told you. I told you. Two more things. Uh, I did mention was I gonna in my last video. Did I walk past them? Did I put them back? Well, I got them. I got the two lots of shoes. So I'll show you the Asics women's shoes first. These cleaned up really good because they had like, oh no, it was the other ones, had dog shit on the bottom of them, but I cleaned these up really, really nice. These are a really, really nice pair of shoes. Really nice pair of shoes. These are a 633, uh, size nine and a half in American size. Very nice shoes. I paid six bucks for these shoes, six dollars. And they're gonna pay their own postage, but we're looking before fees and all that type of jazz. We're looking at 50 bucks for these. Uh, am I undercutting myself? Let me know if I'm undercutting myself. But after looking at comps, these are a $50 pair of shoes every day of the week. So they're nice. I'm glad I picked them up and they cleaned up really, really good. They cleaned up really good. And Kelly's already tried to pinch them, but they weren't her size, thank God. And the last thing that I got, no dog shit on the bottom of these ones anymore. If you watched my ride along, there was dog shit or something on the bottom of them. These are really, really nice pair of Nikes. Fucking nice, beautiful Nikes. Nike Structure 17, apparently they're called. Six dollars they cost me as well. I was standing there, umming and ahhing and umming and ahhing. I was not going to buy these, both these shoes. And then something in my head said, you can get the dog shit out. If you put your mind to it, you can get the dog shit out. And I thought to myself, sweet, I got it. Kelly will clean them for me. No, I had to do it myself. I had to do my own dog shit. And I did a damn good job of getting them out. She wasn't gonna get the dog shit out. I had to get the dog shit out. But thank God for Kelly, because I was gonna throw these in the washing machine. And she said, don't be a dickhead. Don't be a dickhead and throw them in the washing machine because you will ruin the shoes. Sometimes us guys are very lucky to have a wife, girlfriend, whatever, that have got brains, so we don't do stupid shit. Because you've got to admit, guys, we do some stupid shit sometimes. All right, so we're going to turn $6 into 50 bucks with these. Should I list them higher? Or do you think 50 bucks plus their postage and handling is a fair fucking deal? Uh, let me know. Pretty damn good freaking uh, pair of shoes for the kitty right there. I love the blue and pink. Goes good together, doesn't it? Phantom butthole. All right, guys, we spent $79.75. This shit burning holes in my pocket, but end results are always worth it because the end results from this guy right here. Right meow, right meow, right meow, right meow, right meow. So, Kitty, bring up yourself now, Kitty. Kitty, bring yourself up. Bring up the Kitty. Yeah. Yeah. Kitty, you're getting yeah. bigger and stronger every single yeah. week. It's like yeah. you learn and you learn and you want yeah. to bring me goodness in my pockets. 
Kitty, we spent $79.75. Bring it up. Bring up what we're gonna get. $793. Kitty has spoken. Kitty doesn't lie. Kitty does not lie. Kitty, that's a lot of money. This is before fees, this is before taxes, this is before you unsubscribe to me, and this is when you pay for your own postage. Kitty, don't be an unsubscribing motherfucker and get the fuck out of here, Kitty. Kitty, fucking get out of here. Get out of here, Kitty, you third strike motherfucker. So, $793, is that what I said? Yeah, $793. That's a damn good return once this all sells, but just remember, you gotta list it, you've gotta get fees, you've gotta get fucking all that other mumbo jumbo shit. But also, in the end, Kitty doesn't lie, so if Kitty tells you that, that is what it is. If you need to tell me in the comments if there's anything that I picked up there that you think I should sell for more, let me know. If you think I should sell it for less, Probably don't let me know because I'm going by comps on that one and I'm going to learn myself on that. Because we need to make mistakes. Just remember when we all message each other and all that about different stuff, sometimes we do need to make mistakes ourselves to be able to make ourselves a bit stronger in the reselling world. Look at me, I sound like a teacher. <laughs> Alright guys, I think I'm going to start doing it in a different room because I'm so droopy droopy. But then winter will be awesome seeing all the fucking rain on the uh, skylight. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. I can't tell you what to do, this is your life. But if you have it in your heart and your soul, and it really, you've really been inspired by everything you've seen today, give me the old thumbs up. Give me the old little subscribey scribey. Put the little bell icon on or do what the fuck you want. And uh, if you didn't like it, then um, what else can I do for you? Do you want me to get naked or something? I don't know what else I can do for you. The freaking, I, I can't please everyone. I can't please everyone. But I am trying to please you. I'm trying to please you. I'm trying to do what I can for you. Next week, I am definitely 100% going to the markets. This little piggy is going to go to the fucking markets. I need a break. I need a break from the thrift shops. Driving, 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 spending five hours. I'd rather spend an hour and a half on a Sunday morning uh, for a couple of weeks in a row, I think, and uh, just do the markets. I need a little bit of a break from uh, all this driving around. Still a little bit of a drive to go to the markets and getting up early, but at least it's only the morning I'm home by 10 o'clock. When I do all this shit, I'm not home by fucking until like 3, 4 o'clock. Anyway, guys, thanks again. Thanks so much. Uh, don't forget, I am on Instagram. Uh, you would have saw that pop up at the start of the show. And um, cheers, guys. I will uh, see you later. Um, yeah, I've got nothing.